It's no fun living in a shoe when you have as many children as this old woman. She needs to find a bigger home and fast. The old woman who lived in a shoe is in the Usborn first reading series written specially for children who are learning to read and developed in consultation with Alison Kelly, principal lecturer in education and reading specialist at Drewampton University. With delightful illustrations, these books combine great stories with simple text to excite and inspire any beginner reader. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. There was Hannah and Harry and Sarah and Sam. There was Aisha and Abdul and Daisy and Dan. There was Gwen who was greedy and Stan who was small. There was Sean who was short and Tom who was tall. There was Jasmine and Jeremy, Sandeep and Grace, boys and girls all over the place. Ying and Yasmin, Jacob and Joe squeezed in together with no room to grow. This shoe is too full, said the woman one day. We must get another. I look right away. With a list of the shoe stores, she went to them all. But the boots were too tiny and the shoes were too small. She was on her way home by the side of a river when she met a huge giant. He gave a sad shiver. Please help, sobbed the giant. There is a crab on my toe. The old woman took hold and pulled it off just like so. Thanks, said the giant. Now can I help you? Well, said the woman, I would like your shoe. Of course, said the giant and he gave her his shoe. And for being so helpful, take the other one too. Now all the children have space to have fun and the little old woman can knit in the sun. The end. Check out the four interesting puzzles at the end of this video. Comment your answers below as you find them. Thank you for watching.